Hey everybody, Propboy1 here, and welcome back to another review. And in today's review, we will be reviewing a legendary Tacky Toys animatronic and a classic Spirit Halloween animatronic. Today we are going to be reviewing the 2013 version of the Rosemary Zombie Girl. So I was able to purchase this off of my good friend Cash, also known as Lunar Haunts on YouTube. Go check out his channel. And the lot he bought this in... Uh, consisted of all 2013 animatronics, so I'm guessing this is a 2013 version, although I do not know for sure. Anyways, here's the front of the box. The back is pretty much the same. And this side of the box. So without further ado, let's start reviewing. First, like always, is detail. Rosemary wears a basic silver dress. However, she does have some nice lace details on the ends of the dress, going down the torso, and all on the sleeves. The dress does have some nice blood stains, and as well, her hands have some blood stains and little marks and bruises on them, and so does the rubber brain. As we can see, her head has some little blood. Uh, oh my God, her head has some little bloody scratches, and her teeth are all bloodied up. And of course, she has some messy black hair. Now, Rosemary only stands at around four feet, maybe four and a half feet. So they made her the perfect size, just like a little girl. And they didn't really oversize her at all. So I think her size definitely impacts how realistic she is. Overall, I do think Rosemary is a well-detailed animatronic. Now, all of Rosemary's mechanics are all made out of plastic. And her hands are made out of plastic. Forgot to mention that. The brain and the head are made out of plastic, and the dress is, you know, your typical fabric. The plastic can be a little flimsy sometimes, especially on these animatronics, especially on Rosemary too, because there's only one base close, basically a single pole leading up to the head. Also, I have seen many broken Rosemary's before. As sad as it is, it's just the truth. Rosemary is not the most durable prop in the world. So while I do think she can last you a long time if used properly. I just don't think she'll last you as long as some of these other animatronics. Now for a really long demo. Get comfy, folks. As we saw once activated, Rosemary will move her mouth and her head will tilt up and down like she's chewing the brain and turn side to side as she sings Ring Around the Rosie and chuckles. Then halfway through her activation, her, light, her eyes will light up and she will lunge out at you, scaring the absolute crap out of you, hopefully at least. Now not only is this an eerie animatronic, the lunging can really surprise some people. The soundtrack sort of hints at it, like the way her eyes light up and it sort of hits like a higher note when she's about to lunge. But if you're not paying attention in a haunted house to what she's saying, this could definitely scare the crap out of some people. Plus her eating the brain too is eerie enough and then the lunging really scares people. So yes, I do think the animation is fitting and I do think it can scare the crap out of people. Now Rosemary retailed for a total of $160. Now, do I think Rosemary's worth this price? Absolutely. Take a prop today like Sitting Scarecrow. Sitting Scarecrow, as of 2020, retails for the exact same price as uh, Rosemary does, and this prop does so much more than Sitting Scarecrow. All the Scarecrow does is, is his head pops up, this prop, her head will tilt up and down, side to side, her mouth will move, and of course, she lunges at you, which is kind of her signature move. She's built out of decent materials, and she has some pretty cool details, and of course she is a classic Spirit Halloween animatronic. 
So yes, I absolutely think this prop is worth $160. Now concluding this review, Rosemary received a score of a 4.5 plus out of 5 skulls. The rating of a 4.5 plus means that she doesn't really quite deserve a low score of a 4.5, not that 4.5 is a low score at all, but I just don't think she's quite worth the 5 skulls. I mainly took off just a few little points only because of her quality, and I have seen plenty of Rosemary's broken before. What do you think of Rosemary? Tell me down below in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. Thank you all so much for watching, and goodbye.